everyone welcome back to my channel if you guys are new then do not forget to subscribe down below and do not forget to press the bell button right next to it for more notification my name is Saba and in today's video I will be showing you guys how I create this look it is something that I would do when I'm going out and uh, I really love how it turned out today it's pretty simple yet you know vibrant it's not too out there because I don't feel that comfortable with very very vibrant colors so I kept the lips quite nude and simple the highlight is not crazily popping either perfect for a night out and I paired it up with this um, necklace right here which is a very very old necklace I can't even exactly remember where I got it from I believe it was from H&M that was years and years ago so they definitely won't have that but I'm sure you can find it from other websites if looked properly. I'm going to try and find another substitute if I can and I'll link it down below in the description bar. And for today's dress that I'm wearing, it is a maroon colour dress but I've got this on the hanger because I can't, there is no angle where I can actually show you guys what dress I'm wearing. I can't actually stand back. I don't have that much room around me or yeah you could say not much room around me so I'm just going to show it to you guys on the hanger so in black colour that's what it is like and I'll just get up it has kind of frills going around if you guys can see I don't know it's black so I'm not sure if you guys can see but it has frills around here so it gives a really nice flare to it at the bottom um, it is a kind of a salsa like dress it reminds me at least of it it has a panel going on here around the waist which kind of gives it a little bit of tightening and also frilling on the sleeves and as you can see on my arm the frills are like sleeves are three quarter length and um, perfect for going out and it obviously has a zip at the back right here and a hook so um, I really like this dress something like you know in winter to wear with um, tights and um, it doesn't show too much of your neck so it is kind of covered so um, you won't feel that cold I guess but it's not a stretchy material so beware I got that from Miss Selfridges it was on sale so I picked it up for £18 whereas the original price was around £35 if it's still available I will link it down below in the description box for you guys if by the time I upload this video it's still there which I don't think so because the sizes were actually running up pretty fast and um, I'll still see if I can find it and then I'll leave it down in the description box so without any further ado I will let you guys watch this video and see how I created this lovely look hi everyone so to begin with I'm using this body shop vitamin C no vitamin E or C moisturizer I will link it down below in the description bar I'm using that to moisturize my entire face it's a really good moisturizer so you guys should really try that out for my primer I'm using the Viacel Tisha Club primer it is my favorite favorite primer and it really blurs out the pores that I have on my face any uneven skin tone it really really works so after applying that on my face I'm going in with my trusty Estee Lauder Double Bear foundation in the shade Tawny and applying that with my finger first to my face rather than going directly on my beauty sponge because it tends to soak up a lot of the product so I usually go in like that um, I apply it wherever I want to and then I use my damn beauty blender not beauty blender but it's a sponge um, and then I blend it all into place so right now that's what I'm doing I do sometimes do a quick one but today I actually did blend it properly because the more you blend the flawless it looks and today we were going out so it had to be done next I am going in with the uh, Maybelline fit me concealer as always <laughs> I really really need to change it I always say it but I just can't seem to come across a good concealer that can really win my heart over this one well this is in the shade number 10 and um, I use that to conceal my under eye dark circles so I just apply it in a triangular motion as always and then go in with my beauty sponge again and then blend it all in and usually actually most likely all the time i go with a second layer to cover up my dark circles even more because as of yet i haven't 
come across any concealer that actually would conceal my dark circles completely even though in the, these lights you can't tell but I do have dark circles which kind of at times become a pain to conceal to be fair so I should really try doing a, a red base or peachy base underneath which I don't do but I'm kind of afraid that it's kind of a bit difficult to cover up afterwards to um, set it with powder I'm using my kick-ass soap and glory powder I'm going in with my damn beauty sponge again dabbing it in and uh, then applying it on the concealer because this way it really gives a flawless look you can use a brush as well I promise you that this way is so much better for my eyebrows I'm using my sleek eyebrow kit in medium and I'm filling um, three quarter of my brow so leaving the outer edge um, because I go in with this pencil that I bought from Germany and it's my all time favourite it's from Maybelline as well it's called Brow Precise Micro Pencil it's really really thin so you can actually draw brow hairs which makes it look natural and then well this time around I actually left my brow routine completely in this video because I usually cut it out um, to kind of keep all the hair in its place I'm using the um, Benefit 24 hour brow setter so as you can see I am just drawing flicks of hair right at the front and now I'm applying the brow gel which is clear brow gel and it's really really good so you guys should try that as well now for my um, waterline you, you guys probably know the drill it's the Rimmel Exaggerate liner in black I believe and um, yeah I really you know what I really try not to make faces because every time I do video and I edit it I can actually see myself making weird faces and I'm like okay that looks weird <laughs> now in between I'm just going with a couple of pumps of MAC um, prep and prime because um, yeah it just helps um, your makeup set a bit more and it doesn't look powdery now I'm using my concealer to um, put it on top of my eyelids to just prep them so I'm not using anything else just using the concealer and now for the eyes I am going in with the first shade from the chocolate glow palette from Too Faced and um, ooh, the video is actually going too fast and I need to see what colour I use so the first one I used all over my lid was rolling in dough and now in the crease is so bougie and I'm just applying more and more to build the colour I'm not going in too quick with the colours here and um, just blending it in until you have the desired colour so in the outer edge I went in with the cocoa truffle I used a pencil brush and I went in with that so I applied that in the outer corners and also in the inner corners because in the middle I wanted to have some kind of like shimmery shade and make it a bit pop but the overall look was kind of not too out there if you know what I mean so I'm just building this color on the outer and inner edge as you can see and I'm also actually um, putting some of that in the crease so that it kind of gets attached in a way then in the middle I'm going in with rich gel and just applying that um, straight onto the lid it is a really really good shade I mean the entire palette is really amazing the color payoff is amazing I absolutely love it and the best part is every time you open the palette it smells like chocolates like what better thing than that you just want to eat it like even right now I've got it in my hand and I just want to eat it <laughs> now I'm going back with a fluffy brush again and I'm taking more of the crease shade that I use which is so bougie and I'm just going in with more of that so that the entire um, crease is nicely blended I'm going back in again in the colors and the outer edge because every time you do eye makeup you will always always realize and when you actually put colors on you will realize that the outer edges or the crease will kind of like disappear and you have to go back and touch it up especially when you do your lashes and put fake lashes on or put eyeliner on you just 
feel that there needs to be like an oomph and you just keep on going back with shades and that's obviously that's the reason why the entire makeup looks takes so so long and that's exactly what I'm doing over here now for the under eye I have used a shade which I'm going to list down below from Urban Decay palette um, and it is a purpley kind of shade because I wanted it to match with my outfit a bit for my mascara I am using my L'Oreal 4 slash sculpt mascara and I'm not applying any lashes I'm not applying any eyeliner I'm keeping it simple because I want the entire emphasis to be on my eyes so I'm applying like loads of mascara and also for my inner corners today um, in this look I went with the rich girl again and now we are hopping on to the contour and I'm using the NYX contour kit and um, it's the very left shade that I always use for contouring or bronzing and this brush is also from NYX which is really really good so you guys if you guys haven't tried NYX brushes yet you guys really should I'm also bronzing up my forehead and contouring or whatever you want to call it because this shade really is a bit of a bronze shade rather than a contour shade and then I'm going on to my nose and uh, as you guys can see I didn't actually do any um, cream contour because I didn't want it to take a chance last time when I did cream contour it just kind of went wrong I used the L'Oreal infallible stick contour foundation thing but yeah today we are just going with powders for my blush I'm using the Revlon blush in 008 rose a racy rose it's really nice peachy pink pink peach undertone kind of color and I'm just applying that on my cheeks now for the highlighter this is the star of the day it's the Anastasia Bev Beverly Hills with the Emerazy one and um, it's such a good good highlighter you just need the right brush for it I mean I didn't want it to go to OTT on it anyway but it has such a nice nice glow to it like you can really go all out with it if you use the right brush and it is amazing like literally when you touch your finger onto the highlighter you'll realize how pigmented that is and it's just like a glow from within so now for my lips I'm using the Spice Lip Liner and I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. Again, I will be leaving the name of the lipstick down in the description bar if you guys want to check it out. It's a very old lipstick. I use, I've used it a ton of times and it's kind of literally running out now. Um, it's kind of a nudie pink shade and uh, I didn't want it to go too bold with my lips because obviously the eyes are the star of today and we just need to leave everything else pretty simple so the look is now complete if you guys like this video do not again forget to subscribe and do not forget to click the bell button right next to the subscription bar as you guys will be notified every time i upload a video and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it do not forget to give it a thumbs up and i shall catch you guys in my next one bye